Hi everyone, my name is Abby and today we're going to be doing another warm-up video. So the things that you'll be needing today are a chair and an object like this, kind of like a yoga block that we're going to be using for one of our exercises and also a comfortable flat surface that we can go ahead and use and lay down on. So the first thing we're going to start off with are some side steps. So we're going to go, go ahead and get started side to side. We're going to do 10 reps, so five on each side. Two more times. Last one. Good job. All right, next we're going to do some bent over rows. So you're going to stand with your feet shoulder width apart like this. And I'll go ahead and switch to a side view so you can get a better view of the angles. You're going to hinge at the hips with your knee, knees slightly bent, just like this. We're going to put our hands right in front of us, make sure our upper body is in a straight line and we're going to act like we're going to bring something straight towards our belly button so we want to pull in a 90 degree angle we're going to do two sets of eight so let's go ahead and get started and you also want to squeeze your shoulders together at the top to get most out of the contraction four more four three two and one good job Go ahead and take a water break if you want. Don't forget to breathe during these exercises. That's always important to do. Let's go ahead and get our second set out of the way. Again, shoulder width apart, feet, knees slightly bent, hinge at the hips, keep the upper body in a straight line, and pull straight towards your belly button. You wanna keep your chest up. Don't let it drop down like this. Keep it up, you got it. Halfway there. Good job, two more reps, two and one. Good job, awesome. The next thing we're gonna be doing are some arm circles with some toe taps, just like this. So first we're gonna do 10 small arm circles forward and 10 backwards and we're gonna be working on our shoulders up here. So let's go ahead and start the arm circles and start the toe taps. We'll go ahead and do it for 10 seconds forward and backwards. So let's go ahead and do five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and go backwards now. And keep up with the toe taps. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Hopefully you feel that burn in your shoulders there. The next thing we're gonna be doing are good mornings. This is gonna be working on our hamstrings. So you're gonna stand with your feet shoulder width apart and I'll go ahead and turn to the side view. And you can put your arms on your side. You can also use a chair for balance if you need to. So what you're gonna do is you're going to feel the stretch in your hamstrings whenever you hinge at the hips. So knees slightly bent, keep your arms or your, your upper body in a complete straight line, bend forward as far as you comfortably can until you feel that stretch in your hamstrings and then come back up and squeeze the glutes. So we're gonna do two sets of five reps. Again, if you need to use a chair for balance, you can do that too. And then come back up. Let's go ahead and do four more reps. Again, squeeze the core so that you're not like hollowing your back and hurting your back while you're doing it. Two more reps. Again, your knees are slightly bent. Back down and squeeze the glutes at the top. Good job, and go ahead and take a water break if you need to. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and do that second set. Again, hands on hips or on chair, and let's go ahead and get started. Until you feel the stretch in your hamstrings, squeeze the glutes at the top. Don't forget to breathe, inhale and exhale, keep it up. Got two more reps. Again, you can use the chair for balance if you need to. Last one. Good job, awesome. So the next thing we're gonna be doing are standing twists. So again, in a comfortable standing position, we're gonna put our arms behind our heads like this. We're going to inhale, exhale, squeeze the core and twist to the left and to the right. We're gonna do that 10 times, five each side, two sets. Go ahead and get started. Go as far as you can on each side, just as long as you're squeezing your core while you're doing it, you'll feel that contraction. Two more. 
And last one. All right, awesome job. Go ahead and take a water break if you need to. And let's go ahead and do that second set. Again, up here, upper body is in a straight line and let's go ahead and get started. Squeeze that core. Squeeze, squeeze the whole time. Good job, keep it up. And two more reps, two on each side. And last one. Squeeze, squeeze so hard. Good job. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is you can use a chair for, um, for balance or you could challenge yourself and not use a chair and it'll be a balancing challenge. So what we're gonna be doing are single leg front holds. So you can either like put your arms on your hips or try to balance with your arms out. We're just gonna bring one leg out in front of us and hold it for 10 seconds. You can go higher or lower, up to you. Again, you can use a chair for balance. Let's go ahead and hold this for 10 seconds. Don't forget to breathe during this. Again, you can challenge yourself too, hands on hips. Two more seconds, two, one, and let's go ahead and switch legs. If you wanna make it even more of a challenge, you could try closing your eyes or holding onto a chair and then closing your eyes and relying solely on your balance there. It's pretty fun. Let's go ahead, do five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, that was working out your hip flexors. Next, we're gonna move on and work our abductor muscles. So again, for this one, it's gonna be a single leg exercise, so you can use a chair for balance or no chair um, and make it a challenge. And we're just gonna be doing standing on one leg, lift one leg out to the side, and do leg circles backwards. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. So let's go ahead and get started again. You can use that chair for balance if you need to. Four, hands on hips. Five more reps, five, four, three, two, and one. And switch to the other leg. Go ahead and get started, circle backwards. This leg can be slightly bent to help also stabilize yourself. Four more reps, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be doing is some calf raises. We'll go ahead and do two sets of five reps. So just feet shoulder width apart, good posture up top, raise your heels up and then back down. You can use a chair for balance for almost any of these exercises. Let's go ahead and do two more reps. Good job. And we're gonna go ahead and do our second set. Give it a couple seconds. You can shake out, loosen out your muscles. And let's go ahead and do five more reps. Good job, keep it up. Two more reps. And last one. Awesome job. Go ahead and take a water break if you need to. All right, so this next one is another balancing exer exercise. So what you're gonna do, I call it a standing T position. So you can go start in a lunge with one leg in front. Your front leg is gonna be slightly bent, but not surpassing your toes. And you're gonna bring your arms to your ears and squeeze it. And you're just gonna lever forward, trying to keep your balance, squeezing your core, everything in a straight line. And if you need to, you can use a chair for balance as well. So let's go, hold, go ahead and hold each side for 10 seconds. And really challenge yourself. Let's hold for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. And go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Arms by your ear. And try to squeeze every muscle in your body to help you balance. Three more seconds, three, two, and one. Good job, awesome. So next we are also going to move on to a chair exercises. So we'll go ahead and sit on our chair here. 
And the first thing we're gonna be doing is a resi self-resistance bicep curl. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna resist, push down with the arm that you're not curling on. So we're gonna start with our right arm. We're gonna curl with our right arm, push down with our left arm. We're gonna do five on each arm. So push down with left arm and curl with your right arm. Good job. And two more reps. Really resist with that other arm. Good job, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. <clears throat> so push down with your right arm and curl with your left arm. And you should feel the resistance. I'm feeling the burn right now too. Two more reps. Good job, keep it up. Awesome. All right, next we're gonna be doing, I forgot to do this while we were standing, some chair push-ups. So you're gonna stand at a little bit of an angle here with your arms on the chair. You want everything to be in a straight line. We're gonna do two sets of five reps. So lean forward as far as you can and then push back up. This is gonna be working out your chest muscles. Good job, we have three more reps. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. And if this is too low of a surface, you can also do wall push-ups to make it easier. Let's go ahead and do that second set here. Engage your core to help you keep your body in a straight line. Go as far as you can comfortably. Two more, two, and one. Good job. Let's go ahead and back into a seated position. And this time we're gonna work our adductor muscles. So we're gonna take our object, put it between our legs, and we're gonna try to squeeze together for 10 seconds. You should feel the adductor muscles working. And squeeze five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're gonna be doing some chair dips and working on our triceps. So I'm gonna turn this to a side view here. And you want your knees to be in a 90 degree angle and your, your glutes are gonna be slightly off the chair. And you want to go down as far as you comfortably can. You wanna aim for 90 degrees and then come back up. We'll do two sets of five reps. So three more, three, two, and one. Awesome job, go ahead and take a rest. Take a breather, go ahead, drink some water if you need to. And we'll go ahead and get started with our second set. So go down and back up. Three more reps, squeeze your core. All right, last one. Awesome job. Go ahead and give your arms a rest there. All right, now we're going to move on to some stretches since we've done majority of our, um, worked majority of our muscles. So we're going to do our chest stretch. We're going to put our arms straight out to the side like this, and we're going to try to extend it backwards more to stretch out our chest. We'll hold that for another eight more seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Awesome job. All right, the next stretch we're gonna do is an upper back stretch. You're gonna put your arms forward just like this. And the side view here. Put your arms forward and you're gonna push forward with your upper back and come back. We'll do that four more times. Push, come back, straight body. Push, come back two more times. Push, you should feel it up here. And one more. Good job. All right, next we're gonna do a tricep stretch. Bring your one arm up and pull the elbow. We'll hold each stretch for about 10 seconds here. All right, switch to the other arm. And three more seconds, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and put our arms straight up and reach as tall as you can. This is gonna stretch our shoulders and also our chest. Three more seconds, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's go ahead and do a sit and reach stretch. So you're gonna put your feet in front of you and slightly bent, and we're gonna reach towards our toes. 
Reach as far as you can. You should feel it in your hamstrings. And don't forget to breathe. Good job. Awesome job. Keep it up. Three more seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Next, we're going to be doing bring one foot rested on the other knee. And this is going to be stretching our glutes. You can also lean forward a little bit to stretch it more. You can also be stretching your adductor muscles, your groin muscles. Hold it for three more seconds. Three, two, and one. Switch to the other side. Again, you can lean forward, feel that stretch even more. And three more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Next, we're going to transition to the ground. So if you have a yoga mat, you can go ahead and lay on that. If not, you can lay on the carpet, any comfortable surface. And the first thing we're going to be doing are glute bridges. So we're going to lay on the ground. And these are going to be close to your glutes. You're going to raise your glutes up in the air, squeeze. Everything should be in a straight line and come back down. We'll do two sets of five. Squeeze at the top as hard as you can. Two more reps. Last one. Awesome job. And you should be feeling that in, the, in your glutes, maybe a little bit in your hamstrings. So we'll go ahead and do one more set. Squeeze at the top. Don't forget to breathe. Three more reps. Three, two, and one. All right, the next exercise we're gonna be doing is called a dead bug. So we're gonna be laying on our backs, our knees at 90 degrees, arms straight up. We're gonna bring back our left leg and our right arm. Extend all the way out and come back up. And we're gonna switch and alternate. We'll do eight reps all together. And switch the other side. Squeeze your core the whole time. Push your belly button into the ground. And keep it up. One more on each side. Awesome job. Alrighty, so <clears throat> we're gonna end on a little bit of a cardio note. So let's go ahead and do, so we're gonna step back with the same leg, right leg, and then bring our let right knee up. And we're gonna act like we're running like this. So we'll do eight on each leg. So four more, four, three, two, and one. Again, if you need to, you can hold on to a wall for support. Let's go ahead and switch to the other leg. Don't forget to breathe. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Alrighty, the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do side to side, but we're gonna reach up, up to the middle, and then down. We're gonna do that for about 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and get started. Reach up, up, middle, middle, down, down, and repeat that. Up, up, middle, middle, down, down, let's do 10 more seconds. You gotta keep it up. We're almost done here. Let's do one more time. Up, middle, middle, down, down. All right, good job everybody and have a great day.